and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And all about action from League One coming right up. It's Bolton Wanderers up against Portsmouth. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And here's the starting lineup for Bolton Wanderers. Well, in this shape, unless their wing backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. And this is the starting 11 for Portsmouth. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4-4-2, and it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers, and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And they kick off here. Marlon Pack. Owen Dale. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Can he put it away? There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Well, out of play, under pressure. Marlon Pack. And he read it well. Kachunga. This could square the game. But the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. And the short option preferred. Jordan Williams. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And the counter looks on here, options available. Iredale being pressed hard. Now to win it back. Colby Bishop. Oh, showing excellent vision. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. Pretty simple for the keeper. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass.
Jack Iredale. Iredale. Kieran Lee. Fluency of movement. But it was a good looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Beautifully disguised ball. Can they get in behind them? Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Well, the away side haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. They're having to soak up a bit of pressure again here. Determined block. Owen Dale. An effective challenge. Johnston. Lee. Lovely ball over the top. Well, not a million miles away from the equaliser. Well, he couldn't quite get it on target, but at least they're making chances now. Colby Bishop. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Oh, a lovely ball. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Jordan Williams. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Could be! And a goal! They've increased their lead, and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. The first half here comes to an end. Well, he's been a long way from his best up front, Stuart. Yeah, he's just not found his form today. He doesn't look quite right. Unless he can impose himself on this game and start threatening the keeper, they're going to lose this one. So back underway here, into the second half. Well, spot on with that challenge. And the referee sees that as a foul, free kick given. So a personnel change then. Disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Could cross it in here. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Good use of advantage by the referee. And space to attack. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Connor Ogilvy. Colby Bishop. Oh, dear. Not a great effort, was it? 
Well, he let them go on, but now he's going to deal with the yellow card situation. Yeah, and he was always going to be booked for that challenge. It was a poor one, you have to say. So a half an hour remaining. Well, the hosts, as you can see, have enjoyed so much possession, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. And support available. save and he snuffed out the danger Marlon Pack Owen Dale racing forward trying to catch them out will they profit from this situation oh yes a goal exactly what they were looking for and he's come up with it Well, just look at this. He couldn't have placed it any better, could he? The keeper had absolutely no chance there. Goal for Three goals without Nine. reply. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Now, who can he play it to? Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. And they're making a change. Coming off the pitch, number eight, Ryan Tunnicliffe, to be replaced by number 16, Joe Morell. Now, how about the short corner? Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. Let's see about the delivery. Well, no real accuracy and easy for the keeper. Swanson. Owen Dale. It's a weighted pass. He knows he's got to react. Dion Charles Williams and he's got the beating of his opponent well given the position he found himself in he really should be testing the keeper superb opportunity squandered they decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Substitution for Portsmouth. Coming off the pitch, number 27, Josh Corona. Coming onto the pitch, number 11, Roland Curtis. Robertson, Ogilvy, ball's gone, oh a perfectly timed pass, brilliantly blocked,
Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Jordan Williams giving the ball away. And they know they need to stop him. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances, we saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played a major part in their win here today.